Good morning everyone. As you can see, this is Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 Pro X model. The screen has completely shattered, so you're gonna replace it. This screen is really fragile, very soft, and this is 120 Hz. As you can see, right to the center. Okay, so the customer, he left a pen, I believe, and when he closed it, he just cracked it. So everything does work except the screen, so we need to replace it. If you want to get it done by Lenovo, that would cost you around 280 to more. But you can get this thing sorted less than 100 or 150, whatever, okay? So first things, you need to have some tools. As you can see, I do have iFixit tools, flower opening tools, double-sided tape, and also the screen. By the way, that is 14 pin, 14 in 40 pin connector, 14 inch screen, 120 hertz, matte finishing. All right, so first of all, you need to surface, clean the surface, because sometimes the small broken or crack any glasses or anything might leave a lot of scratches because this is made from zinc and aluminum. And just to let you know, this procedure is one of the most safety procedures. So what are you gonna do? We gonna disconnect the internal battery because this sort of machine does have high power in GPU and easily could go wrong when you disconnect the screen from an LCD connector without removing the internal battery or charger. Okay, so that is the first safety procedure. And that's the reason we're gonna open the back cover by removing five screws and then we're gonna disconnect here. And then we're going to close it back again just to feel comfort and uh, easy environment to get access to the main screen. So we don't have to separate the top panel from the bottom panel. Why? Because there is a very thin, it's not even plastic. It's something in between plastic and rubber. Some sort of flat bezel in there. Once you pull out the bezel carefully, then we can remove two strip adhesive and then we can pull out the screen so this video is going to be a little longer if you just follow step-by-step -step guides you can easily and successfully sort out this problem so here is the battery we're going to take this out it's a kind of uh, challenging but you can use some sort of uh, fingertips would be best just pull it leave it disconnected and close back the back cover why because if you start replacing screen like that, it might damage the fan, heat sink, or maybe any other components, okay? So it's always safe to close the back cover. The front bezel, is, it seems it's flexible, but it's not. It's just very flimsy. So I tried to hold the actual webcam into the place. But it doesn't work like that so it's better to completely remove this uh, front bezel and leave it in a flat surface so the shape doesn't get changed and as you can see here is a tape this is the strong adhesive flexible tape in there and you just try to put your left hand next to the screen and just pull this off okay so there is another one on the left you need to follow the same procedure Try to hold the screen into the place while you pull it. Just try to rotate your tweezer and that might can bring the actual flexible adhesive out. Once taken out both of them, it would be easy to pull the screen up. But remember, don't leave the front bezel like that because it's not going to work end of the day. I just find out later on. Okay, so carefully when you pull the front bezel, make sure when you get to next to the webcam you need to be very careful because under the webcam there is a adhesive pad in there so when you pull it doesn't come straight away it takes a little bit of cautious extra work in there okay and I'm using some sort of plastic very thin plastic card you might can get it from eBay or some sort of business card also should do don't bend it too much, otherwise it's going to leave a permanent dent in there. And when you put it back, it's going to be challenging. 
So the question is, how are you going to put it back? What kind of adhesive we're going to use? To be honest with you, I didn't use that much special adhesive. I just used back of the screen double sided tape and left the front bezel itself without using any sort of tape in there. Because the actual bezel does have some sort of adhesive that should cover up. But try to put it into the clean surface, otherwise the adhesive would go weaker and you can't put it back. So here is the main screen.
Thank you.